Egyptian president-elect Mohamed Morsi has moved into the office once occupied by his ousted predecessor. He faces an enormous task getting the country back on track, socially, politically, and economically. And the man who ran as the candidate from the fundamentalist Muslim Brotherhood group, which used to be outlawed, may not even have a clear picture of what he'll be able to do after the military officers running the country stripped most of the major powers from his post. Still, state television showed the 60-year-old U.S. trained engineer in a whirlwind of activity, meeting with Field Marshal Hussein Tantawi and the ruling military council he heads. Morsi also spent time with the prime minister, who resigned but will head up a caretaker government until the incoming president names a new one. The stock market liked what was happening. Egypt's benchmark index closed up 7.6 percent, its largest single-day gain in nine years. Investors seemed happy merely that an election winner was declared after weeks of uncertainty. But some of the Muslim Brotherhood supporters remained camped out in Tahrir Square Monday demanding more. People like Ahmed Rifat say they want Egypt's dissolved parliament to be reinstated and that fuller presidential powers be restored. Christians and liberals still worried Morsi and the Brotherhood would impose a strict Islamic regime on Egypt, despite his earlier assurances he'd be a leader for everyone. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.